Hey, hey, everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and I'm going to be playing some web pilot here from a Tesla load, which I'm super pumped to play some more of. I've just played a tiny bit of this, and you can pretty much just set, like, pick a different web. It doesn't really, I, I guess it does make a difference in, like, the level you're playing, but you can just kind of procedurally generate these as you see fit. We'll start with a kind of smaller one to start off, a little more basic. And, uh, but it's pretty straightforward gameplay, um, although I really love this is yet another Pico 8 game. Um, and again, with all these videos, never really intended to watch the whole thing. Just check out some gameplay, and if you like what you see, I'll have links in the video description to where you can check out the game for yourself. But essentially, you've got some power-ups that you can pick up, which I missed that one, apparently. And then if these pink enemies make it all the way to you, they will actually grab you and start pulling you toward the void at the end of the screen, or like the black hole. And you can also jump, so like if they get to the end, you have to kind of like jump over them. But, Super Zapper Charger. So you'll have to kind of like, this one I'll have to jump to kill it before it grabs me. And you can, if like just one grabs me, I can definitely, um, like fire at it and, and be able to break free a lot of times. Um, but not every time. And again, as they kind of come faster and faster, they're just going to start pulling me in tighter and tighter. Uh, but I really love this kind of like 3D Star Fox perspective. I really love the games from uh, Tesla Load uh, that I've played on many of them. Pico 8, but not all of them. Oh, got me down. I don't think so. Eat Electric Death. Uh, but Eat Girl, I was one of the... I think that was actually the very first episode of the 15 Minutes of Game series that I did. Um, I don't know what the Super Zapper... Oh, okay, okay yeah, it's at the bottom. Oh, is that an enemy? I ho fucking hope not. That might just be a wall. I oh, no, it is an enemy. Or maybe it's a wall, but I can I can break it. Got a nice... Oh, no. Yeah, once you get grabbed, you can kind of jump out of the clutches of the enemy that snagged you. It's going to try to aim for like a 50,000 high score. Oh, man. Okay, so that freezes me as I shoot it. So that enemy has like a behavior pattern, which is interesting. Okay, also interesting. I thought those little enemies always gave up the, uh... Oh, oh, I see. Only when it lands after the jump. Okay. So we're... We're going ham here. Like I said, I was going to try to hit 50,000 was going to be my goal for my high score at some point. So we'll see if I can get there. That might be far-fetched. I don't know how the score will start multiplying as I get further along or bigger levels. But this shit is getting intense, and I feel like I'm not getting any goddamn points. There we go, at least a few. I wonder if I have to be on solid ground to get the points? Seems like I'm not getting the points if I jump. Or maybe the points are based on how far along the enemy is. No, I, yeah, I'm not getting points if I'm killing enemies when I'm in the air. It doesn't seem. Ah, fuck! Holy shit. And yeah, it does seem like maybe the further they are away, the more points they're worth. Yeah, for sure. No. Don't you dare. Jump. Jump. Ah. Okay, 50,000 might be tougher than I think, and I love how they just, like, suck you in and just, like, okay, you have no chance. But a little better than my previous high score. I'll try the same web one more time and then we'll mix it up. But again, it, the webs are just, you know, makes it slightly different. Okay. Hey, you want to hit these enemies as far along down the line as you can. And I just love these games that have, like, this, like, rotating... Like, Pico 8 can seemingly do a really great job of, like, kind of three-dimensional physics in a way. Like, this, like... Maybe not three-dimensional, but this, like, rotating around... Like, I've played a lot of games, too, where you're, like, rotating around, like, a planet. Uh, planet, <laughs> for example. I shouldn't say a lot, but I've played a handful that kind of utilize that... Like, a circular physics, or a gravitational physics or something. You know, this isn't necessarily... Well, there is gravity when you jump, I guess. Um... Yeah, very interesting that you don't get any points if you kill enemies when you're jumping, whether they're right on the ground or not. Oh no, get it! Yes!
Love this kind of just like heartbeat, you know, pulsing in the background. Fuck. Now again, I don't know why I was able to jump out of that one, but not the one previously, like the one when I died, you know, on my last run. Like, I don't know what the difference is, unless it was just that I had taken enough hits to that point where it was, you know, gonna, that was inevitable to happen, but sometimes it seems like I'm able to battle my way out. But yeah, just really great, like, vector 3D arcade vibes here. Really love this. Almost like, you know, 70s, even like 80s, or I was gonna say 80s, even 70s, because I know some of these arcade games, like early, had these kind of like vector graphics. I might be wrong about those dates as far as the 70s goes. Um, nice. Oh, what is that? Yeah, I saw those before and I don't like the look of them. Oh yeah, get out of my sight. Yeah, I'm not sure, like, again, I was able to jump there and, like, kind of almost cause a chain reaction. Fuck. No, okay, maybe it is after just a certain amount of hits. Because, yeah, it says, gotcha. I can get a few more bonus points by... Oh, I wonder if I get caught in one of those walls, but not quite my high score. So let's switch up the web here. Dang. Oh, no, that it was a new high score. So let's find a bigger one here. Maybe something a little more janky. Yeah, I haven't played anything quite this janky yet, so let's give it a try. Like, it feels really smooth to move around those webs that just kind of feel like a little more circular. This one's got some jaggedness going on, but it feels still nice and smooth. Doesn't really feel any different, to be honest, other than it's, you know, you just got to be a little more conscious about your speed going around those curves, but... But I like that there's that constant variety if you want, or if you just want to keep playing on the same web. But seems to be like your high score is... It's not like per web, you know? It's not like there's a hand, designed handful of ten levels, like... Yes, indeed. I'm going for 50 on this one. If I hit 50, it'll be my last one. If I don't hit 50, I'll do one more. Because I am starving, and I, like, I need to make some dinner. <laughs> All right, 10,000. Fifth of the way there. Oh. Gotta quit missing that one. Fucking come on, one hit wasn't... I definitely didn't need that. go. Oh, shit. Come on. Give me that. Yeah! Super zap. Ah, I don't know if that's just more damage or what the deal is. Faster shot. I don't know. But I will take it. Come on. 15 thou. Shit! Fuck you! Well, this definitely isn't gonna be the 50,000 run if I only have one hit left. Be lucky if I hit 20 thou. No, yeah! Thought that was gonna eat me for my last hit. Maybe those small ones don't count as a full hit point? I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. Don't get too proud of me here. I'm not doing that hot. Yes! So again, I, I've taken like four hit points so far. And feel, I think I've like gotten hit like four times. Now five times. Definitely more than three. So I don't know exactly how I'm escaping these. But I'm not mad. Oh, get that out of... Oh, I got no points for that because I was in the air. No. Dang it. Oh, Zapper Recharge! Oh, yeah! Oh, the Zapper lets me get out. I see. Okay. Okay, this is awesome. Can I get to 50,000? That is what the Supercharger is. Ah, oh, that's sweet. Now I kind of know what I'm doing. 
Almost seems foolish to end it on this run if I hit 50, but we'll see. Like I said, I'm starving and I got tortellini to make, man. Some cheese. It might even be spinach tortellini. I can't remember if it's cheese or spinach. Oh, yeah. Give me those two thou. Ah, oh, I needed that power up. Give me. Super zapper. So maybe it's always the super zapper. Unless... So you have like a stock of those, almost like a bomb. Oh, a little love tap. Oh, if I land right on you. Yeah. Frozen. There we go. Another zapper recharge. There it is. Oz in the air again. Gimme. Nice catch. That's right. You didn't know you had Chris Carter playing over here. I was trying to think of a good baseball outfielder, and I'm not really a baseball fan, so I switched to football, and Chris Carter was the first <laughs> receiver I thought of. Shows how much football I'm paying attention to these days. Oh, yeah. Give me Super Zapper Recharge. I think I'm going to get it. Get out of here, 2,000. I think I'm going to hit 50. I got a good fucking feeling about this. Talk of the town. Wait till you hear him talk about me. Hit 50. Oh, 49. Let's fucking go, fools. I got to get another supercharge, though. Come on. I need 300 more fucking points. Yes, yeah, super zapper. Fuck you. I got it. Sit down. Give me another power up. Give me! Fuck. Let me get another one. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Yes! No! I'm just gonna fucking plow these down. Oh, no. No, I'm using it. See you later. See you later. Oh, that was not for two... Oh, no, I didn't kill it. That's why. It's like, that's not for 2,000? Yes. Yes. Oh, am I going to hit 60? Yes, Super Zapper again. Oh, I'm going to hit 60 for sure. Give me a target practice. Get it. Come on. There's 60. Yes! Got to get that pickup. Go! Give me all oh, slow down city. <laughs> oh, I gotta get it. Give me. Yes. Fuck you. Oh, get it going, baby. Get it going. You got no chance. No chance, baby. 75. Come on. Another super zapper. Let's go. No. Give me another 2,000. Easy. Maybe another five. Nope. Use it. No, I waited too long. No. Oh, so close. Oh, man. New high score, though, by a long shot. Holy crap. What a game. What a game. I highly recommend checking out Web Pilot. Um, like I said, I gotta go make some dinner, although maybe I'm gonna get sucked into another run here, but, uh, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, as always, and Tessalode, like I said, has a bunch of other cool games, Sarah and the Lonely Key, um, I think that's from Tessalode, I'm almost positive, but definitely Eat Girl, uh, and there's a few other ones I've checked out, uh, but very arcadey stuff, Netty is another great one, uh, then I've got videos for all this stuff, and we've talked about a few of them on the podcast before, too. Um, so yeah, thanks for uh, tuning in. Thanks for watching as always. And we'll probably be streaming some games later on tonight, whether it's just me or we might jump online and try to play something uh, with the other guys too. So we'll see, but stay tuned and thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching as always. Rambling like a broken record. Thanks again and take care.